Hi everybody and today I am doing a drugstore makeup starter kit. Now this is everything that I think when you first started out with makeup this is the products you should buy. They're all fairly cheap and yeah these are just my favourite ones. Okay so I'm going to start off with the base and the first thing foundation. Uh, my favourite ever from the drugstore, and I've tried quite a few from the drugstore, is the Bourjois, Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is really good for coverage, it's like medium coverage I would say. But it's really good and it's hydrating and luminous skin. So that's good for if you've got dry skin like me, this is the perfect foundation. And I'm in shade 51, which is light vanilla, which I think is the lightest shade they have. And for concealer, I've got the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. If you watch a lot of YouTube channels, you will know that this is YouTuber's all-time favourite concealer. It is only, I think it's gone up to 4 99 now actually. But this is really good. I've got shade 1 because I'm really pale. But this is good for covering under eye circles and the blueness under your eyes as well as spots and redness. So it's great. The next is, also oh, if you watch huge trash, you will know about this one. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. And I just use translucent, which is the one where no colour payoff comes onto your skin. So this just helps to keep shininess at bay. But I don't use this as much anymore because of my dry skin. I don't really need to. But yeah, this is really good anyway. So... And for blushes, I don't wear blusher very often because blusher doesn't suit me very well, I don't think. Because of my freckles, I think that's why. There is one cream blusher that I have and I've had it for years and I love it. And it's the Topshop Head Over Heels Cream Blusher. Now cream works better for if you've got dry skin anyway, so I always go for a cream product when you're thinking of face makeup. And this is just... A really pretty light pink colour. I would say maybe a bit peachy, but it's really pretty. And as you can see, I've hit pat on it. That's how much I love it, and I don't even wear blusher. Next for bronzer is the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. Now this has got a bronzing shade and a highlight shade. I don't use the highlight shade because it doesn't really do much, I don't think. But this matte uh, bronzer is really good. I contour with it. And as you can see, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can see, but it's really good anyway. Um, if you watch Lily Peppers on YouTube, you will know that she loves this. She raves about it all the time, so that is the reason I got it. So next on to eyes. For my eyeshadow, these are also green products. They are the Maybelline Colour Tattoos. I've got a Leather Effects one. This is creamy beige. It's just a matte brown. It's really good just for a base shade, and I'm putting a colour over it. And then this one, which is also YouTube's favourite, it's the On and On Bronze Cream Eyeshadow. And this is just a sparkly brown and it's really pretty on the eyes. Sometimes this is all you need because it is just that good. And the payoff is really good as well. It makes your eyes all sparkly. For eyeliner, I've also got another Soap and Glory product and this is the Supercut Eyeliner. I think I heard this mentioned from S. Dane, which is S's Buttons YouTube channel. Um, it's just a really good eyeliner. It's the best I've ever tried and I've tried a lot. It's just a long thin tip. You, there is a thicker one as well but that obviously means a thicker liner. Whereas me, you can tell I literally use the tiniest bit of eyeliner just to add definition to my lashes. But it's really good and really black and stays all day long. So next for mascara, I'm, I love the Maybelline La Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Now, this has a curved wand, it's so good. It, I have really small, thin lashes. See that? Um, so I need a lot of volume and length, which gives both of these. That's why it's Volume Express. I've tried the waterproof one of this. I must admit, it's not that good, the waterproof one. It's not as good as the original one. So if you was going on holiday, then I'll get the waterproof one. But otherwise, don't bother. It's just not as great. So next for lips, this is the second to last product, and uh, it is Rimmel Lipsticks. I've got three here from Kate Moss's range, and then two originally from Rimmel. I've got Pink Blush, this is just, this is the first lipstick I ever bought. It's a bright pink baby 
Barbie pink, pink colour. <laughs> it's a lot of pink then. Um, but I don't wear this anymore. It doesn't suit my skin tone and I just don't like it. But I still haven't got rid of it. But yeah. And then there is my favourite ever red, which is the only red lipstick I wear. And this is 170 Alarm. As you can see, it's quite a deep red actually, but it's so bright and I love it. These stay on for quite a few hours. I would say if I put it on in the morning, it has to be touched up about 1, 2 p.m. But put a lip liner on underneath it and it's really good. And then there is the Kate Moss range. I've got one of her, which one of these? I've got one from the red packaging and this is Zoe from Zoella's favourite lipstick. If you see her wear red lipstick, this is what it is. It is 107. It is just really, really deep red, but it's so pretty. And yeah, I don't wear it that often because I'm not that confident, but I love this. And the next two are both nudes, and they are my favourite ever nudes. I've got 03, which is this one, which I didn't used to be able to pull off until a bit ago when I just tap it into my lips instead of putting it loads on. This is Gabriella from Velvet Ghost, his favourite lipstick. And then there is this one which is, oh wait, this is my favourite, this is more of a pinky nude. And I absolutely love this, this is my everyday go-to lipstick, actually it's nearly run out. But yeah, this is definitely one to be purchased, I love these lipsticks. And they're only, I think, 5 99 or is it 7 99 But they are so good. For the last thing, I've got brushes. Now these are the Real Technique makeup brushes. I've actually left one over there. The one over there is the setting brush, which I use for concealing, which is amazing. I absolutely love that brush. This is my foundation brush, and this is the stippling brush, and it's so good at just patting in to your skin instead of rubbing around. But yeah, there's this one I used to use for foundation. And it is the Expert Face Brush. It's not so good. It's a bit more hard. But I now use this for cream bronzers in the contour. Because it's so good for cream products. I think that's what it originally was for. The next one is the Shading Brush. I don't like this at all. This is just the one eyeshadow brush they have that comes singly. I really don't like this, to be honest. So, yeah, don't get that one. And the next thing is their powder brush. This is just really good for powdering. Um, bad at powdering as well, so I don't really use it. But this is just really good as well for a lot of blending when you put blusher on or a bronzer on. But yeah, so they are my favourite. So they are my favourite drugstore products, and I hope you haven't realised, but around my eyebrows is really red because for the first time today I got my eyebrows waxed and it flipping curled <laughs> so they're still red that's why and I've had my hair done as well so I really wanted to film a video whilst I had pretty hair um yeah and that's everything thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week bye